Hey folks, I'm Papa Boris, and today's a good day because I finally get to play some more Cobalt Core. Now, in the previous video, I said I was gonna do just one new thing at a time. We're gonna we're gonna kind of change our mind immediately about that and do three new things in this video. First, we're gonna play with the new character Drake, whom we unlocked by winning the game with Isaac in the last video. Second, we're going to play with the Ares ship, which is unlocked by beating the game on hard or a harder difficulty and finally we're also gonna click it up to harder what I found playing this game offline is that in Cobalt Core normal is kind of like what other games might call easy or story hard I think is like the baseline level of difficulty and then harder is sort of other games hard hardest is insane I was able to get one win on hardest but this is not something you can just casually click on and be fine with. However, harder is not that crazy compared to hard. So basically, in addition to whatever happened on hard with the plus one basic shot, the weak cockpit, and a little bit less hull, with harder, you lose some more hull, you gain less hull from killing bosses, you get fewer artifact choices from elites, and you also have a corrupted core, which I'll show you once we get into it. It's a really clever mechanic for making your deck a bit weaker. Now, the Ares ship, we'll also talk about once we get in there, as well as Drake. I actually think Drake and Isaac don't go very well together, so Drake is kind of a high damage dealing person, whereas Isaac's more about drones. So I am actually, um, not gonna pick Isaac in this run. Instead, we'll just do kind of the simple thing. We'll take Dizzy and Riggs. Perry is a good character, and actually you can go with Perry and Drake, and they make a good team together because they're both hard hitting, but we'll keep it really simple. We'll have damage person, defense person, and then card draw and evasion person. Okay, let's take a look at our thing here. We can remove two cards, get two cards upgraded to type A or this. This is fun, I really don't like it though because it's just sometimes you really need that evade and that extra shield at the beginning of every combat and the boss artifact, which might be really nifty, uh, you still feel the pain of losing the warp prep. So between these two, um, upgrading two random cards to A is a little scary because if you hit block shot, it kind of sucks because then you can't get block shot B. However, with all these basic shots, landing one of them on A to make them cause zero instead of one is actually pretty nifty. So we'll take a chance. We'll do that one and see what happens. Okay, got a basic shot A and scramble gives three of eight instead of two. That's perfectly serviceable. I'm happy about that. Okay, now let's uh, go ahead and continue through the dialogue, which again, I recommend reading when you play on your own. It is good writing. So let's talk about Drake. Drake has the heat mechanic. And the way heat works, which you can experience this from enemies too, is that if you have three or more heat at the end of your turn, you take one hull damage, so armor does not block it, and your heat drops to zero. So we have cards that, you know, are a little bit more powerful than average, but if you get too much heat, then you're gonna eventually take a damage. EMP Slug is a really cool card. It does three damage for two, and then it stuns, so it cancels the intent of the ship part that you hit. And then Heat Sink, it just moves you one, and then you lose a heat. You can also upgrade Heat Sink to move you further and be flippable, or to be free. So uh, it's, uh, it's probably one where I'm gonna take the flippable aspect, but that's a pretty cool card. Here's the Corrupted Core for playing on harder difficulty. It's a trash card. However, there's no way that you can remove it from your deck. So it's always gonna be there. You can always pay one to get rid of it for the combat, but it will always be there, clogging up your deck just a little bit in every fight. Now the Ares ship, in my opinion, is just stronger than Artemis. So it's four instead of five uh, tiles so that it's harder to hit. And it has cannons that you can switch between. There's a cannon on one end and a cannon on the other. You get this card once per turn, which allows you to just switch which cannon is active. In addition, the cannon that's not active is armor, taking one less damage. So because the ship has one fewer tile than the Artemis, and has an armored part, and uh, has a cannon on both edges, it's way easier with this ship to hit the enemy without being hit in return. Now what do you lose? Well, you lose the cargo hold from the Artemis, the extra artifact choice from the map, and you also draw one less card each turn. So those are very reasonable and not insignificant drawbacks. I think that they're still just, it's just still worth it compared to playing with the Artemis. Let's go ahead and cry about the fact that we don't have block shot B. Let's start by drawing cards, see what we get. Okay, so we get a free attack. 
this will block all the damage even though we're getting hit in our weak cockpit. So I guess what I'll do here is just do another basic shot to keep one armor after this shot is over. I did not want to spend my evade here. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is toggle the cannon to this one and then we're going to shoot this to prevent this enemy from upgrading its attack power. Then I think what I'm going to do is just get rid of this corrupted core to make the rest of the combat a little bit more straightforward. So the enemy got some shield. That's fine. Notice this is the kind of thing where like if I were Artemis, the Artemis is five and it has the cannon in the middle. So it's really difficult to hit the enemy without your ship being in reach of the enemy's cannons. But here it's going to be incredibly simple. All we do is we whack and we can heat sink to move away. In fact, I don't even have to do that. I could just toggle this and then it will lose the temp shield and be armored. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So we'll just do another basic shot. Instead of scrambling, I'm being a little bit aggressive and we'll toggle. So this cannon's active, this one's armored. We lose our um, temp shield. And heat sink, I could, I guess, just do. Yeah, I'll just, I guess I'll just do it um, just to get rid of the heat. Okay, now notice we can again toggle to shoot out of this cannon again and cancel the armoring, which is, you know, just pretty sick. The way that you can toggle your cannons like that and have this armor on all the time. Okay, now we're just in a very simple situation and that's it. Okay. So Solar Flare is a pretty cool card. What it does is it cancels everything the enemy ship is doing. You get two heat, so you're on your way to taking the damage, but it's a very nice tech card, because no matter what the enemy is doing, you can just cancel all of it. And you can upgrade it to be cheaper, but also do an extra heat, or just reduce how much heat it gives you. This is a good card. I would take it later in the run. Right now, I just want deflection, because I love being able to attack and not have to move. Harder difficulty? Our strategy is going to be the same. Just try to get as many elites as possible. Now, in this case, it's a very, very polarized map. You can get all three repair bays and miss all the elites, or you can get all three elites and only get one repair yard. It's tough. It's tough missing the repair yards. I would have considered something like two elites and two repair yards, but no, it's either all the elites or nothing. We're going to get all the elites and just means that we're not going to be doing as much upgrading. Oh, it's sogging. All right, let's go ahead and help. Okay, so here, what I'm gonna do is a little bit frisky. We're actually just gonna hit him for, actually, is that, that doesn't make any sense. No, the missiles do at most two damage. It makes no sense, just none whatsoever, to shoot him for three damage to cancel a missile shot. Okay, so this first turn, we're doing nothing. There's nothing we really could do there. Okay, so we, I guess, will basic shot to kill that missile, move over with heat sink, and shoot this missile and that's pretty good i'm happy with it um he's gonna take two damage that's fine he's got enough health that he can that he can handle it okay this was a really lucky one he ended up moving out of the way of the non-homing missiles so all i need to do is cash in and evasion shoot down the homing missile and we're gonna get three dodge that's very very helpful for tracking down missiles later on all right, now this time, he's actually still dodging this missile. This is quite a lucky Soggins fight, I must say. So we're going to toggle the cannon over here, shoot the homing missile, and we drew into that. I think I don't even need to do this. Like, I think I'm perfectly fine here, but I'll just shoot that missile down and spend an evade. I ended up collecting a lot of evade. Wow, he's still dodging missiles. This is actually a little bit unusual with how lucky it is, but okay, we will just uh, shoot that one. And I am gonna pass. We'll, we could spend our last two evade to shoot the seeker missile, but I'm fine with him taking two damage. There's no problem with that. Okay, so this is pretty simple here. We will toggle. We will shoot that one. We don't have any other shots, unfortunately. On the other hand, it doesn't matter because he's got enough health to take that shot. Remember in the last turn, corrode doesn't matter. So all that matters are these missiles. And anyway, it's over. Um, he's, he's just totally fine, even if I did nothing that round. Now me, I'm just a boring old man. I pretty much always just take the artifact from this one. So this is fun. This is fun. But I just like getting artifacts, so we're going to take an artifact. This is, uh, you know, later on it might be good if we start struggling, but unfortunately not the best, but still takes it out of the pool. So we're not going to find it in future encounters. All right, we got drone. This is a little tough because we don't have any, um, what's her face? We don't have any, we don't have our EMP to cancel this missile. Might draw into it. We did. Okay, lucky. Cancel the missile, do three damage. Good times. Now he are gonna, he's going to 
where it is gonna shield itself there. Notice, if, if I was the Artemis, I'd have to like move or something to hit the ship. Nope, just toggle, brup. Oh, I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have any attacks. <laughs> okay, we are going to take this opportunity to get rid of the Corrupted Core and get three of eight. Okay, so more shielding. Well, this is fine. We'll just shoot here. And I could use some evade to shoot down this. Sh okay, I have four evade. Yeah. Let's do this. Toggle the cannon. And just fire all of our attacks. That seems reasonable. We got this, by the way. Hitting for two, so gotta be a little careful. Notice again, this is just so incredible. We just flip the cannon. And then we are gonna deflect. Now, this is hitting me for three. Which I am... Well, I'm not exactly fine with it, but I can handle it at the moment. Alright, so I'm still getting hit for three over here. How serious is this? Oh, I can I can just kill it. Okay, this is nice. Barp and barp. If I didn't have the ability to kill that, I would have had to cash in some serious evades there. Alright, this is a weird one. You heal for one, and you get a temp shield, but you also get three heat. So, unless it's the very last turn of combat, you are going to take a damage for that. Um, this is something that might be better if I didn't have Dizzy, but since I have Dizzy, you know, we've got... This is the strictly better version of this. Let me take a look at the upgrades. Oh, you can make it free, or you can reduce the heat so you're not guaranteed to take a damage. I'm not going to worry about the healing. I will take this. I like being able to um, get damage and evasion at the same time, and I like this one just to get it out of the deck and get a couple more evasion. Now, uh, there's not going to be a whole lot of upgrades. We're only upgrading once in this world, so it's a little bit tricky. Okay, so I could just uh, block that shot with Shield Surge. And either take three evade or a damage and one evade. Let's take three evade. And actually, I can even toggle the cannons, cannon so I uh, keep my armor. Maybe I should have actually played evasive shot then since I didn't actually need the temp shield. Okay, we're about to get some junk ass cards. That's fine. We'll cancel that one. Pop, pop, and be done. All right, so we got this. My next rigs card does nothing. It's a little bit annoying. Let's pop the deflection here and then think. Do I get rid of the core, do a damage, or just clear my curse? I think I'll clear the curse. It's a tough call with the correct play is there. All right, we're getting more of this. Miasma. Oh, that's a tough one since I already have heat. Okay, here's what I'll do. We're going to heat sink to get rid of our heat. Flip the cannon so we can actually hit the enemy ship. Do damage, do damage, and I will clear this out of the way. Hoping it doesn't bite me in the butt. Okay, so my next Dizzy card is canceled. That's a little sucky because I really would have liked to play Deflection. Ouch. All right, well, we'll get rid of our Corrupted Core this time and get three Evade and take one damage. That's fine. Definitely could do some more damage in this deck, so we'll pop that one. Really loving that three. And are we done? Not quite. We still need to do one more damage. Oh, did not get any damage here. Yikes. Okay, well, I guess... We'll do this. Well, oh, I meant to, I meant to heat sink. That was that was actually really silly. But luckily, I have a ridiculous amount of evade, so it's fine. And we were about to take a damage. However, we can finish off the ship. Okay, these are both really good cards. I'm happy to have either one. So one piercing damage, one fire, and then this is insane because if you get any kind of damage buffs, you can go through the roof here. Now the issue, of course, with this is that. We're not playing with parry, so we're probably not going to get, like, damage buffs. I mean, there are, like, cards like this, which is pretty nifty. Oh, interesting. Very radical changes on the upgrades here. Either cancel a heat instead of taking a heat, or you get more heat, but it becomes a permanent bonus. All right, we'll take it. I do like that piercing damage, but since we're not getting a whole lot of upgrades, I think I should take the card that is good right away without needing to be upgraded. All right, this is a funny thing. We'll, we'll call him Riggs. Oh, wow. Okay, that's interesting. All right. Well, simple first turn here. Toggle cannon. Hit the weak shot. Pop, pop, pop. All right, watch this ship. It has the payback. It shoots back at you. But this is, again, the power of the Ares ship. This would have been way more difficult to do with the Artemis because we have the cannon on the edge. Bang. 
And it's a tough one here. I could draw cards, but I have no evasion. So we're going to just take a dodge here. Okay. Um, this is pretty straightforward, I think. We can cancel that one. Do damage, do damage. Now, I could, of course, have gotten rid of this, but we're so close to killing this enemy that I think it's worth it to try to get the final push here. Okay, no payback. We're going to switch our cannon. I can handle the damage. And then not quite kill it. All right, hopefully we can kill it next time. Yes, we, we toggle the cannon. It's just insane. This ship is so strong. Like, I completely don't mind drawing one fewer card. All right, we got some weird stuff here. So this one, it's crappy. It's, it's two damage for three energy. But you can gain a maximum hull. There's a whole thing with uh, hull. There's one rare card that Drake has where you do damage equal to your missing hull. So if you build up a bunch of hull with this, you can get somewhere. You can also um, make it a little bit easier because this drops the energy cost by two. However, I really don't have very much repair yards right and there's a lot of stuff I want to repair we want this to become free we want this to do three armor we would like this to do that um, there's just a, a lot of stuff that I want to flip the heat saying there's just like a lot of stuff I want to do so we'll take this I lose shield capacity but it's only for the rest of combat so until then it's just three damage for one energy I am fine with that okay I like this because we are not getting much stuff to reduce heat this though is tempting because it's just free damage. I'll take the free damage. All right, so we have no choices because we don't have the cargo hold, so we just get what we get. And this is totally fine. Some more hull is fine with me. Let's grab two elites here. This is funny. All right. Let's I'm clicking a little slowly because I'm reading the text, which is amusing. All right, wow, let's 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 get on with it, shall we? Okay, so a little bit of a tricky start here because we have this boulder that's blocking the shot. If we hit this, then we get it, then we um are gonna get shot. So there's a few options here. I could just play scramble and dodge and build up evade, or I can block shot to kill the boulder and then play the EMP slug. I'm actually gonna do this. I think that makes a lot more sense because now I have a lot of flexibility for dealing with future rounds. This is terrific. We can heat wave, we can deflect, and basic shot. Get some damage on here. Okay, so we're getting hit here. Let's uh, switch cannons. Do that. We can play everything here. And where's the situation here? Um, uh, yeah, I think we'll cash in some evading. Just take no damage that time. Oh, I did take a fire from their enemy shot, though. Okay. Well, we obviously flip the cannon. We hit with this. And then I'm going to catch fire. So I do need to play heat sink. Unfortunately, it's not flippable. But that's okay. We can do that. We're gonna still blocking the damage, and I'm hoping I can just do four damage next time. It's a little bit of a stretch. This deck does not always do that much damage, but this time it did, because we got our old friend, the EMP shot. All right, this is a card I really like. It's only a common, but I'm perfectly fine with it. One piercing damage and cancel all your heat, so it makes it easier to take heat cards. This is super fun. You discard your hand and you draw five cards. Good with the Ares, because the Ares you draw fewer cards. I think we're gonna take this, because it is rare and we might be more likely to see that again later. Okay, two extra cards first turn is fine. Extra energy also fine, these are both really solid because this deck does draw one fewer card and I've been taking a lot of cards, so we have a lot of cards here, so it's a pretty big old deck. Yeah, let's go ahead and draw through the deck more. All right, this is the big part with a bunch of cannons. All right. Well, luckily, it's a pretty good opening salvo. I'm not super concerned about it. Got this on the first turn, which is not the greatest. But we'll take our heat wave here. Uh, do I need to deflect? I don't need to EMP slug because this thing is already hitting armor. I mean, I could use an evade to hit this part and pop it for eight. I think it's just a little bit aggressive because then that's going to be our only evade. Okay. So we are going to just do the most damage, which is... Ah, uh, that also puts me on fire, which then means I'm at two. Okay, we're going to do one less damage to get one less fire. Then we can do this. 
this and I am gonna do this just to toggle through my deck faster I, I know I can't play anything here but I'm fine with that okay we're actually still okay we're taking three damage wish block shot had three temp armor but alas pop pop and since we are about to take so much damage I will take an extra shield there okay this is where things get a little bit tricky I think I need to do my scrambling here and what we're gonna do yeah we're gonna move here do this for six damage spend another evade and we're gonna toggle our cannon to get armor here and take no damage from that shot that is sick Artemis would have had a much tougher time dealing with that now the enemy is dead we can do this a variety of ways let's do toggle move one pop it for six okay I think we need to stop taking cards <laughs> let's not take it three or more heat do deal more damage or when your hull is under half its max all the cards do plus one these are both a little bit underwhelming but if I had taken the thing that makes you overheat at four then I could have gotten up to three and stay there but instead we'll take this I guess in case things go down the tubes we can do more damage all right this is a tough one I really want to upgrade everything in my deck so we got to really carefully prioritize I think what I'm gonna do here is make my heat sink flippable for mobility's sake since we don't have um, Perry with her lunges let's get a bit more mobility all right we're gonna progress the story here if you get to this boss enough times and I think beat the boss enough times that's how you unlock the next character all right so this is fine ish um, I'm not a fan of this if I had taken block shot B I could have actually just shot right here and that wouldn't have mattered as it is I think I need to spend an evasion so okay we'll do an evasive shot we'll move to take no damage and then we'll do this just because this is the most damage actually that's three no hold on I think better to just do two but not take a fire okay we didn't get our free basic shot but that's fine that means it must be coming later right okay we're taking two damage here that's okay so we are gonna block that damage huh if I move with heat sink it gets worse it goes up to three damage if I move the other way ah then it stays at two okay oh wait hold on I forgot that this actually in increased the movement distance okay that makes it a lot easier we'll just go actually do I want to go this way no I think we just want to take three dodge and just take the damage right right now I'm taking two I can move over and still take two yeah we'll just we'll just stay put okay we're taking just one here uh, pretty easy one here let's heat wave for a free extra damage do this and I think instead of playing basic block we're actually gonna think twice try to get some more damage cards and up uh, get the benefit from this overdrive that we have this turn okay I think block shot makes a lot of sense and then I have four evade so we'll draw cards to cycle instead of getting more evasion that does nothing at the moment unfortunately so we'll pass the turn all right here's the big hit luckily this is where heat wave is really great we can just get the hell out of all of that uh, this get rid of the core and toggle that to take no damage all right pop pop and block the shot oh I can block the shot for free so that makes that easy makes it easy all right now we're taking four luckily we have all this evade so let's do this let's uh, just you know pop 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 and then we can just move a whole lot I'm fine with this in general with this boss it's not a bad idea to try to get to the edge and, and get out of the way of all the middle cannons so if your ships hanging over the edge there's less places where the enemy can hit it I have five evade let's be a little bit aggressive with dodging shots so we're gonna go here do that and that and that and I could flip but that doesn't matter here so we'll just pass okay that's fine we can just hit it for two and duck out of the way I'm right, gonna move a little bit that's fine we'll just finish it off and there we go 
So the, the, the deck is currently missing the kind of explosive damage factor, but maybe we'll get there. All right, some cool cards here. This freezes the enemy in place for a turn, which can be very useful because you can maintain a good position. I like this though. This is, it's a fun card. It costs all your energy, of course, for the turn, but it's a permanent thing. For the rest of the combat, anytime you get hit, you shoot back. And you can upgrade it to give you more shield, or if you have extra energy, you can make it deal da two damage back, which is insane. Since we have built-in armor, you can take advantage of this a fair bit. I'm going to take it. That was the fun choice. All right, we have two cards every turn, but we have to take cards. That's no, you're already taking too many cards. This is super fun. So what it does is it makes it so that instead of toggling the cannon, you just have both cannons active, but you do lose the, the armor then. However, you can shoot out of both cannons. This is super fun. It might be the strongest choice here, but I'm gonna take this for the fun factor and maybe lose the run because of it. All right, so here we're gonna try to get more repair yards because normally, you know, if you get unlucky on the first sector, you might get just like one elite. That time I got three. So I would really like to, um, you know, get more repair yards because there's a lot of stuff I want to upgrade. I'm very curious what the map is going to have for me. Okay, this is a really great map. We can actually get both elites and three repair yards. That's, I mean, that's the dream. So no need to make any trade-offs. Okay, this is a little bit aggressive for the moment. So we're not going to do that right now. Instead, we are going to do that. Uh, oh, no, no, I need to do it just so I can hit the enemy. I'm not going to evade into it to hit it with both shots, though. And we're going to be cautious here. Let's just... Um, either Whether I dodge out of the way or play this, I'm still going to have one shield left over. I'm going to do this so I can maybe be closer to it for the sake of war mode. Okay, the enemy is doing this. Let's see. Should I pay back? I think this might not be a good fight to pay back in because it's going to be always these like really hard hitting cannons. I'm not really going to want to take shots to the face. So let's do this again. It does suck though that that now costs um, an energy. I forgot to take that into account actually. Yeah, maybe that was maybe that was a mistake. All right, well we're we're living with it, so we're gonna move over, put that on, and do that and that for a pretty healthy chunk of damage. Okay, so we're onto this again. How am I dodging the damage? I actually have no evade right now. Uh oh, oh we have a problem. Oh wait, can I kill the enemy? I can. I'm gonna uh, best defense is a good offense. Pow pow. Yeah, it's fun. Probably not the right choice. Probably should have just taken three artifacts, but that was cool. All right, so we could get this, but I already have a lot of cards. These are all commons. I have good evasion. We're gonna skip this reward, and we're gonna take a repair bay. Oh my god! Finally. All right. So for the upgrades, there's a lot of stuff that I want. I think my top priority here is gonna just be this block shot. I, I need to be blocking damage since I don't have that armored missile bay anymore. I don't think I've seen this event. Vampiric Dark Arts, gain a leech. Two damage, piercing stun, and you heal. That's pretty cool, actually. Two leeches, lose 60% hull. Ah, uh, I don't think I wanna do that. So we'll just take this one. That seems like a fun card. Does it upgrade? It does. You can make it non-exhaustible or just do a bit more damage and, and heal more. Oh, that's pretty nifty. Okay, cool. Might be taking some damage since, you know, I uh, made that artifact choice. Okay, we have this one. Remember when you get hit, when it hits, uh, when you hit part of a ship, it turns armored. So the, the brittle only works once. The question is, how am I dealing with this two cannon? I could move over and slug it. But I think what I'm gonna do instead is just keep it simple. We'll just block the damage. Now my basic shots do nothing. Do I want to, yeah, I'm just gonna take an armor. I'm not gonna move just so that I can do a little bit of extra damage to it. Okay, we're taking two damage here. That's fine. So we're gonna I mean, I could do war mode and then move over. I should be getting into some evades soon. Yeah, all right, let's do it. 
This is gonna be a lot of damage. Hold on a second though. When I move over, oh, when I move over, this hits my weak cockpit. Ah, that's a little bit aggressive. I would take four damage or I could block. All right, we're gonna be aggressive. Oh yeah, we're gonna do it. All right, more mode, terrible choice. Terrible, terrible, terrible choice. Here we go. This will be a lot of damage. Yeah, it was a lot, it was a lot. And now we're gonna go here. Just barely block everything. And I'm, I gotta, I gotta kill it this turn. Now this mine is awkward if I move over, I can't do war mode. But what I can do is, I can't move. Oh, I can move with evasive shot. Okay. Do I do this? Oh right, my block shot B lets me, lets me save. Okay, yeah, this is fine. So we're gonna do this. I'm not using this other cannon at the moment, but, um, wait, does this kill? It is four piercing. No, it doesn't kill, it's one off from killing. So we're gonna do the safe thing, we're gonna block. And we'll do this just for a dodge. I know it did nothing there. Oh, it mined. Oh, but it was gonna shoot me before it shot itself to death with the mine because um, everything always goes from left to right. Okay, I think we just kill it now, right? Yes, we turn on our cannons, we move over and we just do our damage thing. All right, Stun Charge is a fun card. Again, I worry about how many cards are in the deck, but I do have that Think Twice. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. It's good to get more EMP effects. All right, uh, hmm, I'm tempted to turn Payback on. It does mean I take no damage. Yep, we're doing it. In fact, I could turn on Stun Charge. Yeah, I think that's the, let, let's keep my shield or one of my shields and uh, take, a less, take less damage. Okay, that's fine. We'll just, oh, that's a really easy choice there. Just put on some good damage there. All right, we can do this and shoot back and block all the damage, seems fine. The way that this geometry works out, by the way, is that with my cannons being spaced as they are, I can never actually use war mode. So that's only just to turn on the other cannon. Here though, I think it makes more sense to um, just move so I don't pay the energy. Actually, I'm not a fan of this hand. This, this whole hand is just nothing. Let's just do that. Get rid of my stuff. Okay. So I could war mode or I could move. All right, so we'll stun charge, heat wave, pop and pop. And then we're gonna shoot it again. We're getting hit for three here, so that actually is significant. I guess if we evade and just take this to be extra cautious, we're losing all our shield this way. Oh, what the? I totally missed that this is coming over here. Oops. Okay. Uh, so this is one plus two is three, so I will lose a health. I have leeches. I think we'll just take a health instead of like going crazy evading, which could have been another option as well. All right, here, I think this enemy just dies. We got that and we got that before we burn ourselves. Okay, I think we're fine without any of this stuff here. We did get a prepare A, draw extra cards and gain extra energy next turn. Fine, we'll take it just because it's upgraded. Couldn't resist. Get free evade or turn missiles around. We'll take the free evades. And we're getting this, which lets you reduce your heat before you take heat. A little bit niche, but that's fine. Okay, I could consider removing some cards, but there's still stuff I want to upgrade. I think with the free evade from my artifact, oh, it's, it's this one. I think it's time to upgrade basic dodge to get out of the deck so that we can have a trimmer deck over the course of combat and I will still fight an elite. Okay, this is a really nice start here. Um, I wish this were free. I gotta say, I wish it were free, but alas. So we'll do this. We'll um, turn this on for some extra damage and then we're gonna pop it for eight. Do I wanna cycle? I think I just wanna cycle, get that card out of my deck. And we also get the dodge out of the deck. All right, happy with all my choices. 
this is this is a pretty hard hit coming at me here I unfortunately have no armor and no movement now I could use all of my movement to get away from everything or I could just take a bit of damage hmm if I turn on war mode I can't shoot both of these cards this misses yeah, it's a tough situation here. If I move into it so that I'm taking one for... Oh, it's actually going to be more. I could move into it and just take the full seven damage. And then I heal this. Okay. We're going to do this. We'll heal. And I am just going to aggressively get out of the way and hope that I get into some of my other evasion before things go bad. Okay, well, it didn't exactly happen, but we could deflect. This is seven damage right now. No, this is six damage right now. I would take a total of three. Okay, I think this is all right because we can block a good chunk of it. I'm still going to take a little bit of hull damage here, two or one with the, the missile armor. Okay, I think this is the time to turn payback on and lose my use my last evade to step out of the way. Okay, the enemy is continuing to accomplish nothing. I'm very grateful for this. So either take evade or take more cards and energy. I think we'll take the evade. Weird as it feels to not take the cards and energy, I think I need to do that so that I can actually move around a bit. I am happy with my choice. Can I kill the enemy if I turn on war mode? This would be six. No, this would be eight with heat wave. Okay, and it's not hitting the damage, the double damage spot. So we're just gonna move here. Either way, I'm gonna be up to three and take a damage. So we're gonna heat wave, pop it, pop it. Oh, it dies. Oh, it dies because of the double damage. All right, made the correct call there. We're, I'm gonna take this. I love this card. It's a free card. It does three damage for zero. It turns the part of the enemy ship that you hit into armor, but that's fine. We're just gonna grab it. I love three damage for zero. This is actually pretty cool. We do have payback and we can p potentially take more expensive cards. However, I think I'd prefer to have this for the extra damage and the fact that I already took so many cards, I don't necessarily wanna go hunting for more cards. Okay. Here, let me take a quick look at the upgrade selection. Really think about what's like top, top, top priority. I mean, I can live with everything being as it is. This would actually be nice to um, cancel fire instead of adding fire. Yeah, let's do that, especially now that we have these uh, heat sinks so that we can reduce heat preemptively. Okay, up against evil rigs. All right, we're taking three damage. I could actually block all of it with payback and get to shooting. Is that what I want to do? What are the other options? I could turn on war mode and just do a bunch of damage with the volatile vapor. Let's actually turn this on. Let's have it on for the rest of combat. Since I can, you know, take the damage, I might as well. Okay, we're taking two damage here, which we can block with block shot B. I think the time has come to turn on war mode. So now we're not taking any damage. I can either just do this for two damage and a dodge, or I can see if I get a better card. What would be better here? Um, aggressive armoring would be better, but I can get that anyway. Ha, okay, so we'll just do this then and see if we get aggressive armoring. We didn't. This does nothing, so we're not gonna, oh no, we are gonna play it, hold on. I'm totally gonna play it so that I get negative one heat. Oh my gosh, my payback works with both cannons. I did not realize that. That's actually incredible. Okay, so uh, easy move here. We turn on war mode, shoot deflection for, you know, classic five damage. Now I am taking a damage here. Oh, I should have done stun charge. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll do it now and cancel that two damage. And this does nothing now, but I'll still do it for funsies. Does the armoring go away before? Ah, the armoring is still there. So the armoring uh, with the bite, with the with the shoot back is a non bow. 
All right, I think we have a pretty easy move here, though. We're gonna turn on war mode, do this. Okay, it's so good that that reduces heat. And then we're gonna leech to cancel both of these and heal for a hit. Nice job with your temporary armor there. Okay, can I kill the enemy here? These parts are armored. They're armored for the rest of combat. So this would be two damage. What am I, what am I doing? I can just move. Guys, I can just move. So we'll do this. And then that. All right, that was fun. The big ship with no gaps makes war mode look really cool. Oh, my beloved corrosion beam. I, I don't know if this is the right, I don't know if this is the right deck for it. I'm not like dodging attacks or like armoring up and taking a slow game. I could take another one of these just to cycle through my deck faster. I think it seems a bit silly, we'll just skip. All right, I have another chance to get a bunch of artifacts. I can also, oh boy, I can also do this. So now three of the four spots on my ship would be weak, but I get an extra damage or an extra energy every turn. Oh man, you know what? I think this is the day to take, I mean, I know this is probably the correct call. It's probably just the correct call, but I'm gonna take this. This way I can just not care about ever playing scramble. And I don't think I'm gonna ever collect more than three evade at a time because uh, I, I just don't have a whole lot of evade or movement stuff. Okay. Now, also, it's not like it. Um, it's not like it goes away or anything. It's just you know, it, it caps at three. I'm fine with it. Okay. So here we have some options. I think I'm gonna turn on payback and cycle through the deck. We'll just get a free minus heat and oh, I don't actually do any damage because I cannot switch my cannon. Uh, I I could I could evade I guess. I could use both of my evades just to get two extra damage done. Is that smart? I can move in, shoot, move out so I don't take damage. And it seems idiotic. We're doing it. Oh, the, 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 the shoot back isn't working here because the cannon misses. That's fine. All right, well, we got our free evade. And we also got block shot B. Does this mean I can turn on war mode? War mode here, I'm taking four damage. I'm blocking three of it. Uh, it's not ideal. All right, so we're just gonna keep it simple. Just keep hitting this weak cockpit, thanks to our cockpit lock on. Get a dodge, get rid of all their armor, lose our temp shield and shoot back, also at the weak spot. Okay, taking some damage here. I think this is where we're gonna move here. Pay an energy, sadly. And then either two damage. Oh, I can, I can only play one of these cards the way the numbers work. So, easy choice. All right, I can turn war mode on and actually hit both parts. And then I can still dodge out of it. All right, we're doing it. Barp, barp. It does kind of suck that I ran into the three temp shield there. Um. Yeah, I need to do this though. Oh, oh my god, I, I messed up. I played it when I was at max evade. Oops, that was a mistake. So I have to use up all my evade to not get hit, unfortunately. Uh, okay, luckily, luckily we're hanging on in there. We can do this EMP slug to counter that four damage. And I think here I'm gonna play it a bit safe. Nah, I was gonna hit it for three. We're just gonna hit it for three. That's what we're gonna do, because we're dumb. All right, so we're hitting armored parts with both our cannons, and there's also this temps, temp thing. Um, I can't get out of this four. Uh-huh, all right, so we're gonna do this. I can't move into it either, I only have one evade. If I do war mode, I don't think I kill it, because this is, yeah, this is seven, and I would hit for four. Actually less, because of these armored parts. Okay, let's do this shot to stun the cannon. See what I draw into. We got heat sink beat. Well, thank goodness I didn't use all my energy on deflection. Now we can just flip and get the hell out of here. And uh, that does nothing. Okay, here 
Oh, right, I got the two of these war modes. That's kind of amusing. Okay, I cannot get out of the way of the five. I have to evade. So we're gonna have to take some damage here, which means I think we're gonna just do the preparation for next turn. And then we'll get out of the way of one of the fives, out of the way of the weak cockpit. And then here we can lose a heat, block some of the damage, and do a bit of damage. Oh, could I have killed it with war mode? Maybe I could have actually. I wasn't paying attention. All right, we have a lot of cards. I did not get my piercing card, but that's fine. This is actually still enough just to kill it through the temp shield. Okay, so took a bit of damage there. EMP slug B is interesting. I think I'll take it and maybe get rid of the other one at some point. I'm not sure. All right, repair yard. I think here we are going to remove a card. It's time to start getting rid of stuff. We're never playing basic blocks. So we're gonna get, just get rid of it. Uh, okay, we're taking currently three damage. Oh, right, I have that thing where you start with temp shield equal to your missing hull. Cool, so I can actually just uh, take four damage and do nothing um, in exchange for war mode. Yep, we're doing it. So we're doing this, heat wave, dodge. Now I can either block this damage and keep a shield or do this and heal. Do I heal twice? Let's find out. Only heal the once. Okay, good to know. And then we'll do another eight damage, but turn these parts into armor. Fumes. Okay, so we got heat seeking missiles over here. It's a little scary. Uh, right now I'm doing no damage with block shot B, unfortunately. I do have three evade though. Okay, so let's move. So I'm taking four damage currently, which means block shot B saves the day like it always does. But why did it die? I don't know why it died. Maybe it was vulnerable or something? I don't know. We have a movement card with three damage. I think I'll take it. And the question is, do I actually want to fight these elites? I could fight a regular instead of an elite. Well, that's not that exciting. Yeah, I guess we'll fight both elites. In the final round, you can consider not fighting both elites because, you know, why would you? Okay, so we're currently taking two damage and getting a card. Note you can't stun these because this is an empty spot that damage is coming out of. It's kind of weird like that. I guess we'll just uh, do that for damage and healing and get some evade for the future. Cycle through the deck. Aha! Get, some, get a card out of the way, which is nice. Oh, I actually kept the shield because it stayed armored. Nice. Okay. Here, I think what I'm going to do is just dodge that shot and prepare for next turn. Interesting. Well, this is fine. I think we'll just um, go here and try to get as much damage on as possible. So there's five there, three here. But this gives me a shield and does one less. Okay, we'll take the we'll take the shield, and then we can also do. Oh, I should have moved with Whiplash B. Mm. Yeah, this is awkward. I, I could go here, whiplash B. Yeah, it's too, it's too much movement. We're just gonna have to... I mean, I could still play this, I guess. Um, I don't have anything else to do with my thing, so I guess we'll get rid of the corrupted core. All right, now we can actually turn on war mode and kill it. So let's do that. Thanks, armoring. Panic, random movement, no thanks. EMP is a really fun card. It cancels all the enemy intents. You lose all your armor, but it also cancels all the enemy shield. I think I'm gonna take it because it's such a good tech card. You can just destroy the entire shield of the enemy, which often is a lot of shield. All right, we can take a card. I'm gonna grab a parry card. Some kind of a buff thing would be nice. Oh, and we're also allowed to skip. Well, I don't want either of these, so I guess we'll skip. Energy refund, that's great. Well, it's, it's not great, but now we have two cards that it works with, and we'll fight two elites. All right, this is the one that wakes up. Now, what you can do is you, you can just not shoot it for a bit. So, like, for example, we're going to scramble here and pass the turn. 
this thing will wake up eventually, but it takes longer to wake up if you don't shoot it. So now I think what I'm gonna do is turn on war mode, heat wave, and we'll wake it up with this big, big blast. Oh my God, that was so cool. So it actually just blew up before it awoke. That's amazing. Okay, um, this is fun, but we're gonna take this because it helps me get through my deck. Yeah, we'll take that. Ion converter, oh right, more energy never gonna happen. And well, this might never happen, but it's fun and it does something. I am never gonna have a turn with more than one energy left over. All right, we got uh, Corrodezilla over here. So here, I think we'll just keep it super simple. We'll turn on war mode and we'll play this big slug to cancel both these cannon shots. Now, we'll draw some cards. That was a lot of cards. I didn't realize I had so many cards. And I think we'll spend it. I'm at max evade, so yeah, I might as well just spend an evade to keep up my shield. Oh, this, this is the brittle part that I found. I didn't realize, okay. Uh, hmm, so it's a little awkward here. I could, of course, turn on war mode and get pumping, but I don't have any damage. So what I'll do is I'll just prepare for next turn. We'll keep it real simple. We'll duck out of the way, lose a fire, because I actually had fire, and I t lose my shield, or I could do damage and draw cards. We'll, we'll, we'll play it slow. This thing is corroding itself to oblivion, so let's keep some shield on. Okay, so I could turn on war mode. And I, weirdly, I don't have that much attack. Uh, aggressive armoring does do six here, but that cancels the brittleness and turns it into armor. Hmm. Let's just let's just keep it super simple. Let's just duck. Um, we'll hit this weak spot. Get some free evade. Uh, block all this damage. Well, I still lose a shield because of the weak cock, but that's fine. Um, pop, pop, and then do I do this, cashing it in so it's not weak anymore? I think so. And then we'll cycle. Um, I can armor very aggressively indeed. Okay. I can actually spend two evade to dodge this completely. Yeah, I'm gonna get another evade back. Might as well, I was at my cap. I like how that artifact encourages you to like move around more. Okay, war mode, am I gonna kill it? 11, this is two, this is four, not quite. So what I'm gonna do here is a little bit silly. We're just gonna move, get, use up all of our evades, get more evades, and then just move some more. I mean, why not, right? Got the evasion, might as well use the evasion. All right, now we can just kill it. I don't think I even need war mode, but yeah, I did not need war mode because it was double damage there, that was 10. Okay, Desperate Measures A, so it's an upgraded card. A bunch of shield and a heat. This is kind of cool, you do damage equal to your heat. Now I have a lot of negative heat, so I don't think I want this at this particular moment. Do I want this defense card? I've been doing all right without it. We'll just skip the rewards. More heat, ah, this is kind of cool. So Serenity every third turn, Serenity is a status effect that makes it so that the next time you get heat, you don't. I actually haven't really, really been getting a whole lot of heat. So we'll do this, just more max shield. Works with the card that lowers our maximum shield capacity. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade. I think removing was very tempting there, but what I wanna upgrade here is payback. This is gonna be a long fight. So let's get extra shield for it to make it easier to turn that on. All right, here's the final boss. And we got these gaps, can be difficult to use war mode. All right, well, we have a pretty easy move here. We can just EMP to destroy all the armor and cancel all of its attacks. Note that this also ends your turn. That's fine, there's nothing else I wanted to do on this turn. So we'll just do that. Did, you know, 15 damage. You know, that's just, it's just a thing we did. All right, here, I think we have a very easy choice. We are gonna well, it's not that easy because I'm gonna take some damage as a result, but that's okay. I mean, what is the time to take damage if not right now? I could use my um, evades really aggressively. Yeah, this part's concussible, so if I hit it, I cancel the damage, and then we're gonna use the last evade just to get out of the way and think twice to cycle through. Should I do this? This accomplishes nothing other than just cycling through the deck. 
but okay, we'll do it. Just get it out of the way. Uh, we got this for six damage. Cancels a weak part, so seven damage. Fine. I'm actually at two heat. Okay. So here's my payback. I would be taking three plus one is four damage. Minus three. Yeah. I think I want to do this. Oh, I even get an energy. Oh, right. So I could turn on war mode and it'll shoot back. The issue is this part's armored. So I don't think it actually makes any sense. Might as well just do this for an extra three damage. So we're gonna take, well, what am I doing? I'm at max evade. I can just take no damage. Well, one damage and that one's armored. Okay, big stuff happening here. I don't have my movement. I do have my three evade mercifully. So we can shoot this to cancel that and just evade out of the five. I think we'll do that. So we'll do that. Um, we're gonna move, move. This is concussible. Let's, oh, I should have done that first to do extra damage over there. Oops, pop. And that's no damage. So we'll, I, I could consider this, but let's just get one more damage on. You know, this is getting, getting kind of close to dead. Let's let's get aggressive. Let's push it. Okay, my payback is not really not really doing a whole lot. I have to admit. Uh, we could do this for three damage. That seems great. Oh, hang on. Should I do war mode? Yes, I should because I have max evade, so I'm totally safe. So you move over to pop pop, move over here. Getting hit for four. Uh, that's fine. We'll just do one more damage and then duck out of the way of that four. Perfect. Oh, even did an extra damage there with the payback. How lovely. Okay, can we finish off nine? I don't think so. Cause the lot of because of all this armor. Well, let me see. This would be four. And this would be another four. Not quite, not quite getting there, but you know what? It's close enough. Let's make it happen. So let's get out of the way of that four. We'll go over here. We'll heal, counter all the damage, and just do another. Oh, it is dead, because that part wasn't armored over there when I moved. Hi. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Let's, um, I wish you could see how many you had for everybody. You're not offered them if they've had all three. But uh, let's see, rigs. Did I take rigs for my other two so we can just finish rigs off? Yes, there we go. So we're done with rigs now. And we can focus on the other characters. Anyway, you, you, you can stop watching the video. We are totally done here. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope to see you again soon, and we're just going to click through this, see if we unlocked anything, and mm, very important. I, I actually have not gotten the third Riggs memory in my other one, but we'll, I'll pay more attention to it when I get there. Okie doke. We're up to 34 artifacts. We just need six more. Notice this time I wasn't talking about which ones I have taken, which ones I haven't. I found that you just you just will naturally get up to 40 over time because each character has unique artifacts. So as you unlock the characters, you are guaranteed to stumble upon artifacts that you haven't seen before. So I'm not worried about it. We got, oh yes, that's right. Of course, our new character, Max, who's very difficult. I think this is the trickiest character in the game. So it makes sense that you kind of unlock them last. No new ship, still need six more artifacts for this. Still need to do this, and of course we need a whole bunch more wins to get that one. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody, hope to see you again soon, take care, Bye bye